We are back in Montana and it is the day before opening day and it's hot up here but it's super smoky. Montana is just on fire. Um, we're really excited to get up there, get our camp set up um, and just get ready for opening day tomorrow. I've been hiking for about an hour and I tell you the first time you come out here um, after you've had a great summer you realize how great of a summer you had because it's a little tougher than the end of the year but um, it's been an awesome hike it's a beautiful day a little smoky but not too bad um, haven't we saw a couple deer on the way up and that was about it haven't heard anything so I'm excited to just get up here set up camp and then maybe just do a little scouting tonight. Um, and we'll just see what we see tomorrow. So we just got up here and we just spotted these three elk beds that are up here. So we're pretty excited because that means elk are up here somewhere. So now it's just a matter of us finding them. <laughs> so right up here is one of my favorite spots on this mountain. My husband and I started calling this place the changing room and it's just a little place in the trees that we've always put layers on, taken layers off, whatever we needed to do. Kind of stop there, take a break, um, have a snack, whatever we want to do. But I always know when we hit this spot, it's not too much longer till we get to set up tent. So um, it's a great spot. I always look forward to it and check it out. So this is kind of like our little room. My husband actually had an elk come up here one time and I believe he shot it right over here and he had just had eye surgery done. So he always has a good story up here. So it's kind of fun to just chill for a minute, take a break. Like I said, have a snack and just kind of regroup, get ready to go set up tent. Giving Back is brought to you by Safari Taxidermy, preserving the memories of your hunt for over 40 years. German Precision Optics, exceptional optics at an exceptional value. Kennetrek Boots, for the trail less traveled. Eberly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Monster Camo, your off-road hunting gear. Magnus Broadheads, superior quality and outstanding performance. Hammer Bullets, Advanced technology, simply better. Post-production and editing by Co-op Outdoor Productions. So last year, um, I'd been hunting for two years. And so this is my third actual hunting season. And um, last year, a lot of people were looking out for my best interest and kind of helping me along the way. And this year I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. I might sound like an idiot. I might, I really don't know all the tricks of the trade. I don't always know what I'm doing. I say the wrong things all the time and I'm just going to own it. Um, this is, will be, the if I shoot an elk this year, it will be my first elk ever. So I'm totally excited about that. Um, I'm out, my husband's here, but I'm kind of on my own on this hunt. And so I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'll probably make a ton of mistakes, but any new hunter, you know, their first time out elk hunting, deer hunting, whatever you're hunting, you're going to make mistakes and I'm just going to own them. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. I'm just going to just going to go for it and see and hopefully it all works out in the end.
So we made it. This is where we camp every year um, during elk season and it's just perfect because um, we can go off to, to this side, the north side of the hill and hunt over there. We have a great view over here. It's just kind of a good area on top of this little knob to just kind of check everything out. We have a good good listening spot and um, it's just an awesome place up here. Um, we can't have any fires, any campfires this year because Montana is just on fire. A ton of fires up here. My throat's even a little sore just from hiking up here and that's probably why it was a little bit harder this year. But we're gonna go ahead and start the jet boil up and cook a little dinner and set up the tent and get excited for tomorrow. We are in our tent, just got food in our belly and we are ready to pretty much hit the sack. It's nice outside so I'm not really worried about getting cold tonight. Um, just excited to start the day tomorrow. Um, I think every elk hunter has that same exact feeling. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm dreaming of shot placement, all of that kind of stuff. I know it sounds dorky, but it's just how we are, I guess. As hunters, we all have our bucket lists. Maybe it's a bull elk in the Rocky Mountains or a majestic red stag in New Zealand. From stalking Cape Buffalo in Africa or a speedy pronghorn of North America. As a hunting consultant with Outdoors International, I can help you fulfill your bucket list. Call or email me today so I can turn your dreams into reality. You've taken the trophy of a lifetime and you want it preserved for life. Since 1978, Safari Taxidermy has been capturing the essence of the hunt, one trophy at a time. With meticulous attention to detail, Safari Taxidermy guarantees a product as close to the original animal as possible, and they have a proud export record to destinations all over the world. This segment is brought to you by Co-op Outdoor Productions.
The first day was kind of slow, so the next morning we decided to head into a new canyon to see if we could get anything at all to respond to our calls. for my window and then you could see how he ran down here and went straight over there so now we're just gonna go ahead and go over here and try to find some blood and track him we find him now that the arrow's out of him hopefully we find a lot of blood and he'll just go ahead and and pass away somewhere up here hammer bullets custom designed lead-free bullets with superior accuracy ensuring minimal game waste our new parabolic drag reduction technology reduces pressure and friction, resulting in higher velocity. Our PDR technology allows versatility and seating depth, making it the easiest bullet on the market to load develop with superior accuracy and terminal performance. Go to hammerbullets.com to learn more. As hunters, we all have our bucket lists. Maybe it's a bull elk in the Rocky Mountains or a majestic red stag in New Zealand. From stalking Cape Buffalo in Africa or a speedy pronghorn of North America, 
As a hunting consultant with Outdoors International, I can help you fulfill your bucket list. Call or email me today so I can turn your dreams into reality. This segment is brought to you by Safari Taxidermy. Keep looking for him. Um, I'm not going to give up, so we'll just see what happens. So we were sitting up over here, and we came down over this little ridge, and we finally found a water source, which is really important when you're out in the backcountry. So we filled up our water, and now we're ready to go again. We looked for my bull all over that mountain for two days with no luck. We had to leave camp that day with the realization that my shot was probably non-lethal. So it's been a few days and we're back up on the mountain and the weather has completely changed. It's a blessing because we have some great rain for Montana and we were able to review some of the footage from the elk that I shot. And I think what happened was um, I ended up shooting, um, when I shot, I hit a rib because there wasn't much blood on my arrow. So we're gonna go back up, and we did spend a couple days looking for that elk, but we're gonna go back up, see if we can find some elk up there, and thank God for Aaron's parents because I have my bread bag gator on, gators on and Harry's coat on, so we're good to go, and hopefully we're gonna stay warm. but it's not very cold. We actually took our coats off and we're gonna continue on the way up. So here's our tent. Got a little collapsed with all the snow. So we're gonna dig out. So we have a place to stay. So it's chilly up here. There's some snow and it's, the sun's out so the snow's melting off the trees and it's like raining in the trees. But um, we've seen a lot of tracks, haven't heard anything bugle or anything so kind of hang out, wait till tomorrow, and who knows? It is cold this morning. It got really cold last night, but 
it's really warm in the tent, but this morning our gloves are frozen, our boots are frozen, everything's kind of frozen, so we came over the other side of the hill just to get out of the wind, and we're gonna listen for some bugling and see if we can call something in this morning. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Hammer Bowls. So we had a great few days up here. We've experienced weather that was, gosh, in the 90s all the way down to, I think it got in the 20s last night. So we've had a great few days. We saw a couple elk, saw some tracks, but nothing just quite went our way. So we'll try again next year, but it was a great, great elk season for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's
If you would like more information on this hunt, or any hunt you are thinking of going on, please contact Aaron at the number below. As an international hunting consultant with Outdoors International, he can help you put together your next hunt of a lifetime. <music>